Hello and welcome to Wireman's Whimsy. This is another video using the November Paper Pumpkin Kit by Stampin' Up. That's the gingerbread houses. Uh, we've made the gift tag, uh, or gift card holder. This one we're going to make um, as just a regular fold-up card. So I'm going to stamp the uh, decoration on the front of the card. So I'm just going to ink up the archway that goes around and just make sure that's all inked up well. And it is, and we're just going to place it down over the archway, give it a press and there we go. And then we will ink up the, let's get the fluff off of that one. We don't want the fluff in our stamp. So we'll just ink this one up now. And then we can place this one down. And you see there's a notch in the top here. Kind of goes around the decoration at the top. So you just press that down like that. And now you've got a complete image. I'm going to use the Happy Holidays again. And just ink that up. And place that down just in the middle. Just like that. Okay. So now... Um, in the previous example, we folded this edge over and we put sticky strip on it and adhesive dots down here. This time we're just going to cut this off. And you can just cut along the score line. You can use your paper trimmer or you can just use scissors. So that's got that trimmed off. We fold it over and now we have a nice little gift enclosure if we want. We can use our bone folder and stick it down a little bit harder if we want, make it a bit more crisp. So we are just going to go ahead and use dimensionals on the back of the front of the house. Uh, we'll just put about four on. And then I'll just peel those off the back there. Like that. And we just drop this down over the doorway, centering it. There we go. So that's now attached. I'm going to use um, dimensionals on this one. And this I'm going to put on at an angle, just, to, just for a little something different. So we'll put our stamped dimensionals on the back. And then we can pop this down. And just it on at an angle. There you go. There is your little gift enclosure and you just pop it in the envelope and you're good to go. So if you would like to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, please, please use the links below or feel free to get in touch with me. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.